paediatric patients are certainly slightly different than adults because they're not just small adults. So everything you do is slightly more difficult. And all the technical aspects are more difficult, the veins are smaller, the airways are different. And of course every drug you give has to be calculated for the patient's weight and age. So technically the whole thing is different. And they have a different set of diseases and responses to what we do. So pediatric anaesthesia itself is a, a different branch than anaesthesia as a whole. So what we're doing, we're running a workshop for critical incidents in pediatric anaesthesia, particularly, and it's, it's a bit like a simulation, so all the people that flew here would expect the pilots to flew their airplanes to have practiced in a simulator, all the very rare but disastrous things that happen. And it's the same in anaesthetics, and so you might not see some of these scenarios in your whole career, or you may see it once in 10 years. But of course, when it does happen to you and your patient, you have to be on the ball and react straight away. So this is an ideal way of practicing very rare but severe uh, reactions to anaesthesia. They're both really, so the technical skills, you know, have to recognise what's going on, there's the medicine, differential diagnosis, actually making the diagnosis and knowing the treatment, but also it's about managing the team under uh, very intensely stressful conditions, even though it's a plastic mannequin and it's clearly not in an operating theatre. The suspension of disbelief is very, uh, is very easily done here and people get very stressed. So you've got to manage the team around you. It's about communication, it's about clearly stating what your objectives are and going forward as a team. Well, I think this is aimed at an international group of people that might not have simulation um, in their home countries or in the regions where they are. I mean, I think if you come all this way, it's good to have a high fidelity simulator available to you. And it's aimed at any anaesthetist that looks after children. And I think that everyone that looks after children needs to be able to practice the very rare but very serious uh, scenarios. Yeah, we've got a lot of very positive feedback from people who have done simulation before, from some people that haven't done any simulation before, uh, experienced anaesthetists and anaesthetists that are new to the field. They really appreciate the chance of practicing these skills in a safe environment. So we give them a really safe learning environment. And of course it's safe for the patient because you, you can't kill the plastic mannequins. So this is the time when you can make your mistakes. Thank you.